Hey guys, Bebo here. Um, I'm here to talk to you about what I was going to talk to you about yesterday, which was Tides of Time. Tides of Time is a game for two players exactly, and it's probably my new two-player go-to game. Let me tell you why. Okay, first off, they have huge Dixit-sized cards, and they're absolutely gorgeous. I cannot get enough of the artwork in this game. I could just stare at the cards all day long. Um, that said, I also really wish that I had a pocket version of this game. I, the box isn't very big. It's pretty small. Let's, let's compare it to another game, like Viceroy, which I almost played today. Um, so, as you can see, the, the, the box is pretty small, but I would totally want a pocket version of this to, like, literally keep in my pocket. I would play it all the time. Anyway, in the game, you're drafting, which means you are given a card, of, or a, a hand of five cards, and you pick one, and you pass it. And at the end of each hand, you're going to reveal the card that you played, and it's going to be public information. So everybody else, well, the one other person on the table, will be able to see the card, and you will be able to see theirs, which makes hate drafting very easy and very fun, and that makes me happy. But at the cost of maybe you don't get the card that you wanted to play that will give you the most points. But the mechanic that I found really interesting in this game is that at the end of the round, you count up all of your points, and then you place one of these markers on one of them, which means you keep that card for the rest of the game in play. At the same time, you also have to remove another card from the game and put it in a, in like a, an RFG pile. Anyway. And then you take all of the cards, all the other cards that were in play, and you put them back into your hand. You draw two more cards, and you draft again. And at the, on the third round, you've seen every single card in the deck. That's interesting to me, because it means that you see every card in the deck every single game that you play. Um, that's exciting to me, because it means that the order of the cards really matter, and it also gives the game some pretty high replayability. I would also like to thank Macy for giving me easily the biggest score pad, scorekeeping pad, that I've ever seen in a small box game. Because I don't think I'm ever going to run out of these things. Um, there's three columns on each one. How fantastic. I love it. So, I played this game with Nicholas, and I had the best time, so I'm really looking forward to playing it again, and you should go pick it up. Um, in the U.S., it's on pre-order right now, and you can pre-order it from your friendly local game store. We also got around to playing Valley of the Kings, and I picked up Valley of the Kings Afterlife at Gen Con, and I absolutely love this game, but let me tell you what. You have to entomb cards, otherwise you're going to get your butt kicked. So, we played this game, and thankfully, I saw Nicholas into me a bunch of cards, and it made me really nervous, so that kicked my butt into high gear, but, like, the, the last time I played with my best friend, Melissa, I was just like, oh, cool, I'm comboing things, I didn't really understand the entombing mechanic, and so I did not win at all, but I had a great time. Um, while I haven't gotten around to playing Valley of the Kings Afterlife, I imagine Melissa's going to come up and play this with me soon because she's my best friend and she's great and I'm going to beg her too. So this is something I'm really looking forward to and as soon as I do play it, I will make sure that I tell you all about it. That said, Valley of the Kings is also a great two-player game, but I believe this plays up to four? Yeah, this totally plays two to four players. We played it two-player and three-player. I recommend both. Um, haven't played a four-player yet, but if you want to come over and play it, let me know. Um, <coughs> sorry, I'm still struggling with a little bit of bronchitis. In addition to that, I just want to show you guys real quick. Today I was sent two games. Gem Packed, the card game, which is from Pencil First Games. They also make um, Lift Off which is an adorable game with little alien meeples, and I really like it. It's adorable. In addition to that, I want you to see how cute these cards are. Some of the artwork kind of reminds me of Sushi Go, in that these little gems are the cutest stinking things, and they, they remind me a little bit of Sushi Go and a little bit of Steven's Universe. So 
That makes me pretty happy. Look at how happy these little gems are. I wish I were a happy little gem. So as soon as I play this, I will also let you guys know about it. And I was also sent a luchador, which is a Mexican wrestling Dyson card game. And it comes with 40 20s, which makes me happy. And they're purple. So that also makes me happy. I will let you know as soon as I play that too. Uh, that's all I got for today since I'm not actually technically doing any work. It's Saturday. It's Saturday. Um, I guess I should show you the games we almost played. I also brought Viceroy and Cacao to play over breakfast. We did not get around to those because my daughter became impatient and really wanted to go home and snuggle with her kittens. So that's what we did. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this daily vlog, and I will see you tomorrow.